Return of Hope. The assembled essenes of today are a small pod of reincarnated souls, alive today, which have also incarnated on Earth throughout millennia in order to carry a very simple message and philosophy about unity consciousness and truth. We have committed ourselves to correcting a global karmic circumstance in which we originally were involved. Some of us were involved in creating this issue and some were involved in trying to prevent it. Nonetheless, we are all unified in correcting the problem now and we are completely committed to putting us and all of its relevant conscious souls back on the path of a loving metamorphosis. However, before we present the history of the Essenes and what we are doing today, it is important to highlight the most important reason for coming forward at this time. In order to help you realize our foundational perspective, please consider this short message designed to guide you into understanding the simple path which will bring us all together into an understanding. In a very short couple of years, in Earth time, there will be a peaking of source energy of which the Earth will be passing into. It will come in an instant and it we will perceive it as a knowing and an invitation to walk the path of love for eternity. All we are asked to do is accept this invitation with all of our being and it will begin to emanate from our heart and grow outward like a cosmic adrenaline rush. The beginning of our new lives will be on this day. A metamorphosis of humankind and our permanent thought patterns of which we transition into love will be on this day. The acceleration of all our soul's destiny will show their true colors in this moment. In order to be ready to accept this wonderful invitation we are being asked to do the following preparation work starting whenever each individual feels comfortable and the feeling slash intent of unconditional love guides you to a yes. We have plenty of time to accomplish this task, so do not feel like it must be an overnight conquering. Although, it is possible to make this choice, to decidedly walk the path, and accomplish it overnight. Here are three simple steps which help begin our journey into our metamorphosis. This will allow us to understand what to expect and what we should do in order to participate in this wonderful transition. Number 1, Love, live our life and our entire reality directly from our heart. As this intent grows and this is done more and more throughout the following days it will be effortless to align our actions, stemming from our mind, with our heart. As our attention is shifted to our hearts, what happens is amazing. We begin to see the path which is our true destiny laid out before us with every step. This path is now possible to traverse, since doors have been recently opened by the path herself this concept will be discussed in future episodes. However, we can now just choose to focus our intent on building our life's foundation from our heart and we will not be stopped from doing so. Gone are all of the obstacles which may have kept us from doing this in the past. This is the hope and the good news which is available now. Number 2, Truth begin shifting our focus from what we fear, and thus what we do not want for ourselves and humanity, to what we do want for humanity and ourselves. 
Each individual's internally perceived reality is thrust outward, as if it is the global and universal reality. This is a powerful process which is hard to explain in words, but the quantum slash zero point field knows absolutely no boundaries and we truly are the creator of our own reality and the global slash universal reality. The only thing which holds us back is our belief that our thoughts are not powerful enough to change what it is we desire to change. Also consider that congruent intention focus, when combined with other souls, is exponentially more powerful and effective. Use this. Cultivate this. Number 3, Humility, listen to the humble voice in our heart and send it to our mind and out into the world around us. As this power of love and truth grows within us this last step will require less and less effort. However, in the meantime, as we battle the swinging pendulum of duality we are confronted with our ego, which does want to be in control and most often conflicts with the destiny of our soul. As we give in to the ego, and brush aside the path of the heart and the truth, we begin to drift off course a bit and a correction is needed to bring us back into the truth and the heart. This is where recognizing the need for humility works its magic. Once we gain recognition of the need for humility, and thus deciding to walk in humility begins, a gentle step back towards the path of love and truth occurs. This then brings our path back into complete view and we feel whole again. Our entire being is recombined with the path and we are re-energized so we can continue. These simple yet intention tasks of love, truth, and humility do something wonderful for us as we go forth. We can now begin to access the creator aspects of our higher selves. We can now deliberate within ourselves and recognize thoughts as precursors to emotions. Once these emotions are deliberatized, or in other words, deliberate and then baptized, they become intentions or feelings. We must understand that what we are identifying as feelings are actually our intended reality that we send out into the universe around us. Said another way, these intentions or feelings sent out into the world manifest our reality and thus the global and universal reality. So, as we live our life through love, truth, and humility we then effortlessly create divine intent and thus manifest the past and future which brings the desired outcome. We are creators and through hope and manifestation we walk the path. The path awaits. The path of hope. 